Oracle Database 23C developer release is now available for free on the Oracle website. You can this build to test out some of the new features that will be available in the full release and also see how they can improve your development. In this episode, let's take a look at how the JSON relational duality views work, how we can set them up and how they can help you in your application development. JSON relational duality views combine the advantages of using JSON documents with the advantages of the relational model while avoiding the limitations of each. This exposes data stored in relational tables as JSON documents, which are generated on demand, not stored as such. Duality views give your data both a conceptual and an operational duality. It's organized both relationally and hierarchically. Now let's take a look at how we can create the tables and enable the JSON relational duality view. We suppose a document-centric application that uses three kinds of JSON documents – driver, race and team. Each of these kinds shares some data with another kind. Operations that the application might perform on this data include adding or removing a driver, race or team to or from the database, updating the information, adding a driver to a team or removing them from a team, or moving them from one team to another, and of course, adding the race results to the driver and race information. To set up the schema and enable ORDS, we need to open a new SQL file and create a database schema that will host these duality views and their tables. Once this is done, we can log in as the newly created user we will update the connection with a new user and their password. And then in a new SQL file, we will need to enable ORDS for this schema. Next up, of course, using ORDS and AutoREST, let's take a look at the API that has been created and how we can call those endpoints in order to update data, delete, batch upload or replace it. First of all, we will create the team, driver, race, and driver race maps tables. Then we will create a trigger on the driver race map to populate the points column in the team and driver tables based on the race results. Next, we will create race DV, driver DV, and team DV, which are the JSON relational duality views. And then, of course, we need to enable these duality views for REST APIs. We will be using AutoREST, which is a feature of ORDS. And last but not least, let's do some tests and see how this all works in practice. To populate duality views, we can do single document inserts. For example, to insert a single document, we can use POST with a document content provided as the body. In order to do a bulk insert, we can do that in one single request using a post to the REST duality view with a slash batchload URL and an accompanying array of JSON objects in the request body. Let's see how we can list all the documents in a duality view. We need to issue a GET request with a corresponding collection name. Note that while the write operations are performed on duality views, the actual data is transparently written on the underlying tables as the duality views themselves do not hold any data. Now let's see how we can use some query parameters. They are pattern-like queries for JSON data, also expressed in JSON. They are supplied in the queue parameter of our REST request. First, let's look at the equals operator. This query parameter will find all records having the name Bahrain Grand Prix. Oracle Database generates an e-tag for each document inserted into the duality view. This information is returned under the metadata field in the response body. 
The ETAG value supplied in the content is used for out-of-the-box optimistic locking to prevent the lost update problem that can occur with concurrent operations. The database checks that the ETAG provided in the replacement document matches the latest ETAG of the duality view document. If they do not match, an error is thrown. To update the race again, we will need another valid ETAG. We can retrieve it with a head request. Now let's take a look at the greater than query parameter. This query parameter will match all documents that have the points field greater than 40. We can also reparent sub-objects between two documents. In this example, we will be switching Charles Leclerc and George Russell's teams by updating the driver arrays in the Mercedes and Ferrari documents of the Team DV Duality view. For this, first we have to find out the IDs of the Mercedes and Ferrari teams using the in query parameter filter. Now we can update both of the teams using their IDs. And after these operations, we can check that Leclerc appears under the Mercedes team and no longer under Ferrari, and Russell appears under the Ferrari team and no longer under Mercedes, respectively. The driver individuality view has been updated as well. We can verify this by using the OR and LIKE query parameter filters, as in the example on screen. In order to delete documents, we can target them identified by their document key or ID, and we can also target documents identified by a query parameter filter. For more information on JSON relational duality views, the AutoREST API and the parameter filters, please make sure to check out the links below, which you can also find in the description of this video. Thank you very much for your attention, I hope you found the information useful. If you're interested, you can download the Database 23C developer release for free from the Oracle website. And please make sure to also check community.oracle.com if you have any questions or if you just want to chat with us. Please don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Happy coding!